Very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday, 22nd of December 2021. Evening prayer begins with our prayers of preparation. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness, do you be praise and glory forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And uh, the hymn is, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. <clears throat> o come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here, until the Son of God Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou rod of Jesse, free thine own from Satan's tyranny. From depths of hell thy people say, and give them victory o'er the grave. Rejoice, rejoice, <coughs> Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou day spring, come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and as dark shadows put to flight, rejoice, <coughs> rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, thou key of David, come and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high and close the path to me, Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. <clears throat> o come, O come, thy Lord might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times didst give the law in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. And our first psalm this evening is Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and made it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, 
who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Psalm 48. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great King. In her palaces God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, they writhed like a woman in labour, as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God, God has established her for ever. We have waited for your loving kindness, O Lord, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth, your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice, and the cities of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk around Zion and go round about her, count all her towers, consider well her bulwarks, pass through her citadels, that they may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And reading from the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 55. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money on that which is not bread, and your labour for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a commander and leader of the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that you do not know shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord for he, that he may have mercy on them, and to our God for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return again until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy, and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress, instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle, and it shall be to the Lord for a, for a memorial, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Here ends the first reading, and our canticle. Surely I am coming soon, Amen, come Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me, to bring, give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. 
I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with his testimony for all the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, say the city and the bride, come, let each hear a reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty, let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. A reading from the second letter of Peter, chapter 2. For if God did not spare the angels when they sinned, but cast them all into hell and committed them to chains of deepest darkness, to be kept until the judgment, and if he did not spare the ancient world, even though he saved Noah, a herald of righteousness with seven others, when he brought a flood on a world of the ungodly, and if by turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, he condemned them to extinction and made them an example of what is coming to the ungodly, and if he rescued Lot, a righteous man greatly distressed by the licentiousness of the lawless, for that righteous man living among them day after day was tormented in his righteous soul by their lawless deeds which he saw and heard, then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trial and to keep the unrighteous under punishment until the day of judgment, especially those who indulge their flesh in depraved lust and those who despise authority. Bold and willful, they are not afraid to slander the glorious one, whereas angels, though greater in might and power, do not bring against them a slanderous judgment from the Lord. These people, however, are like irrational animals, mere creatures of instinct, born to be caught and killed. They slander what they do not understand, and when those creatures are destroyed, they also will be destroyed, suffering the penalty for doing wrong. They count it as a pleasure to re revel in the daytime. They are blots and blemishes, revel in, reveling in their own dissipation while they feast with you. They have eyes full of adultery, insatiable for sin. They entice ungodly souls so, and steady souls. They have hearts trained in greed, accursed children. They have left the straight road and gone astray, following the, the way of Balaam, son of Bosor, who loved the wages of doing wrong, but was rebuked for his own transgression. A speechless donkey spoke with a human voice and restrained the prophet's madness. These are waterless springs and mists driven by a storm. For them, the deepest darkness has been reserved. For they speak bombastic nonsense, and with licentious desires of the flesh, they entice people who have just escaped from those who live in error. They promise them freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption, for people are slaves to whatever masters them. For if, after they have escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overpowered, the last state has become worse for them than the first. For it would have been better for them never to have known the way of righteousness than, after knowing it, to turn back from the holy commandment that which was passed on to them. It has happened to them according to the true proverb. The dog turns back to its own vomit, and the sow is washed only to wallow in the mud. And the second reading. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord. In your word is my hope. And the Magnificat. O King of the nations and their desire, the cornerstone making both one, come and save the human race, which you fashioned from clay. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as 
it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O King of the nations and their desire, the cornerstone making both one, come and save the human race which you fashioned from clay. And so we come now to our prayers of intercession. Pray <clears throat> once again for a province, for a diocese in the Church of Nigeria, for the Diocese of Ilesa in the province of Ibadan. We continue to pray for the community of St. Dovnog in um Ning Merch, for June Hughes and Philip Williams, their wardens, for Martin Pritchard, their priest, praying for the guidance in developing a place of pilgrimage to the Jesse window there and to the Holy Well. And that's part of the Denby mission area. We continue to pray for that mission area. For Andy, their Archdeacon, the Archdeacon of St. Asaph, we pray as always for Gregory, our own bishop, giving thanks for his ministry amongst us. We continue to pray for those who are developing, rolling out and producing the vaccine across the world. We pray for Colin and all those in nursing and residential homes, for Daniel and all who are in prison and for their families. We pray for those who are in particular need of our prayers, for Louise, Derek, Gordon, Harry, Dot, Peter, Joshua, Bob, Alison, Maldwin, Roy, Mark, Barbara, Carol, Anne, Bob, Alan, Paul and Ruth. And we remember once again Doreen Tantrum amongst the recently departed, giving thanks for her, for her life and commending her today into the hands of God. And so our form of intercession for Advent. Watchful at all times, let us pray with strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God may establish among the nations his scepter of righteousness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may seek Christ in the scriptures and recognise him in the breaking of the bread, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick, and raise those who have fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the light of God's coming may dawn on all those who live in darkness to the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let us commend the world which Christ will judge to the mercy and protection of God. God, our Redeemer, who prepared the Blessed Virgin Mary to be the mother of your Son, grant that as she looked for his coming as our Saviour, so we may be ready to greet him when he comes again as our Judge, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. When the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining me once again this evening.